Any day that you get to benefit 290,000 youth across the Commonwealth, what better job can you have? Quite frankly, if you'd have asked me when I was probably growing up in high school, I would have told you I, I wasn't going to farm. My dad was a full-time farmer and I saw how hard he worked. You gotta love it to do it. Growing up on a farm gave me a passion for agriculture. Even if I didn't get to farm on the farm, I have a drive and a passion for what my dad did. I knew that I wanted to take that drive and that passion into my career. The first time we met, we actually were both competing in Kentucky Farm Bureau's Outstanding Farm Bureau Youth Contest. Both of us were ag majors at, at UK. Both of us got out of school and obviously pursued those careers in, in agriculture. Him being at Farm Credit and I was the director of the Poultry Federation for about 10 years. We thought that's what we wanted to do. But when you get out and you remember what it was like to be on the farm and the love for the land, especially when you have kids, you realize that, that you need to teach them those same things that you learned as a kid on the farm. We purchased Aaron's grandfather's farm, which is our poultry and cattle farm. We didn't want that farm to leave the hands of the family. So it was in our blood, we knew it. When I was at the Poultry Federation, I always got to work with 4-H kids. I chaired the National 4-H uh, Egg Demonstration Contest for about 10 years, so I got to see what 4-H did for kids. But when we moved to Hardin County, Keith Rogers and I, he asked me to come on as kind of his marketing and communications person. He went on to be chief of staff. In his mind, he wanted me to be the director of the 4-H Foundation. And so really it was his planting of seeds that led me to my job. What drives me every day is the kids I get to work with. When you get to see the benefit of a kid that's uh, gone through a STEM program or gone through livestock judging or they go through our achievement program and they can stand on a stage and give a presentation or you can interview them and they know how to talk to you across the table, that's vital. They're teaching them communication skills, leadership skills, civic engagement, communicate with people one-on-one. -on -one. Those kids are learning skills that, that other youth are not getting, and that's something that I know they're going to take on with them later on in life. What we do in the lives of younger kids every day is going to benefit us later. It's going to benefit our local communities, our state, and our country. I got to do the LEAD program, which again just really, really builds you up as a leader, especially in Farm Bureau, which I think is great. And then Aaron and I got to do um, Excellence in Agriculture. And for us, that really made us look back over our careers and what we had done in ag, not just on the farm, but what our careers had allowed us to do for agriculture. So it was a neat, humbling experience to look back at what we had gotten to do and then to get to go represent Kentucky at the American Farm Bureau Convention was, was amazing. Mine and Aaron's biggest blessings are those three kids that we get to raise. And I hope that our kids will see our involvement and in what we have gotten to do with Farm Bureau and they uh, pursue things with Farm Bureau too. And the people that I've met and what they've taught me, um, it's a blessing. And it was all a building block over time, I think, to what I get to do today.